Hey guys, it's tax deduction time. And I just wanna explain exactly what this means. So when you get a tax deduction, you can actually claim a tax deduction any time out of 365 days. The reason why everyone in the marketplace talks about tax deductions, and I'm relating to property, but the reason they talk about tax deductions in the last week or the last month prior to 30th of June is because you can actually claim the deduction and get the money back on tax that you've paid almost within 30 days, so it's pretty quick. So at the moment, it is tax, tax deduction time. People do talk about it more in June than any other month because you can get that return back quickly. And I'm gonna give you a couple of tips of what you can do. A couple of advanced landlords of ours, what they do is they don't they withhold their rents. So if they've got two or three owner, two or three tenants in their properties, they'll actually ask the property management company to not physically pay them any rent at the end of the month. If they don't physically get that rent at the end of the month and they get it three days later into the new financial year, then they've just delayed their tax to be paid one year in advance. So there's a great tip. I even have some landlords that ask for the rent to not be paid to them two months or three months before the end of 30th of June. So it's a great little trick. Another thing with a tax deduction is just have a really long, hard think about what's deductible. What's deductible is repairs, and maintenance relating back to your investment property. Those repairs and maintenance relating back to your investment properties can be absolutely anything needed to maintain that property. So obviously a big, you know, cleaning products, light bulbs, um, replacement of carpet, repainting, paint, all of those things. Even if you're buying those things in preparation of actually putting them in, they're still tax deductible. So you may buy a dishwasher and you know we'll have a landlord send us an invoice for a dishwasher. They'll go, hey, it's 1st of May. I want you to pay Harvey Norman. This is the dishwasher we're buying for $1,000. And we will send that invoice, that payment by check from their rent over to Harvey Norman. Boom, they've got their deduction they can claim. But that dishwasher may sit in their garage for a couple of weeks or a couple of months or a year before they install it, but it's still tax deductible. So repairs and maintenance are crackers. When your tradesperson does the, does the work, make sure they're strategically using the word in the invoice or bill that they're gonna raise for you. The word repairs and maintenance is critical. And I'll tell you why, if you're doing a brand new kitchen or a brand new bathroom, that capital cost has to be stretched out over sometimes five years, seven years, 10 years, whatever it is. But as soon as it's repairs or maintenance, you can claim it instantly in that financial year. Very, very important. So repairs and maintenance is the magic word. Getting your deductions in now, withholding your rent if you can for one or two months before it's paid, all that stuff's fantastic to do. So we've only got a little while before end of financial year is over, but don't worry, you can still claim these things that I'm talking about and you're just gonna to have to wait a little bit longer so you'll, it'll roll over to the next financial year. Nine months later, for instance, 12, 11 months later, you'll get that claim back. If you miss 30th of June in the current financial year, it'll roll over the next. So become an expert on repairs and maintenance. Have a good long think and hunt around your house and see if, it, if there's something that you can purchase for your investment property that is tax deductible and you're a winner. If you do a couple of those every year, it really adds up and compounds. Cheers guys.